Knicks will come the other way. As the Knicks miss their first from downtown, James ahead to Westbrook. Westbrook down lane, blocked by Randall. Julius Randall with an excellent defensive play. Barrett fakes, drives on James, pass inside to Randall, layup is good. But first of all, the, the league is not set up anymore to be healthy. People are going to sit out games, and a lot of them. He had a huge game against the Knicks back in November, a triple-double with 31 points. And goes two or three from the line. Burks went for the steal. Westbrook got free. Gets into the paint. Lost the handle. Barrett has it. Throws it ahead to Burks. Burks back to top and lefty. Scoop layup. He missed it. Got the rebound. Missed again. Folly follows and throws it down. Westbrook looks to push. The hesitation. Jump shot. Russell Westbrook. Barrett had 17 points in the first quarter if you're just joining us. Westbrook inside, deflected by Robinson. Here comes Toppin. Toppin goes right at Westbrook and finishes. Ariza hands off. Westbrook finds some room, gets inside, missed it. Toppin the rebound. So different from most of the year. Westbrook. Off the glass, badly misses you here, the drones. A little bit of extra fuel, and he told me that after missing a potential game winner the last time he was in this arena last season, this is a game where he wants to make a statement, Mike. Westbrook pushing, knocked away from behind by Noel. Knicks have a two-on-one. Randall goes inside from a slam. Trying to contain Malik Monk. Westbrook thought about it. Crowd kind of telling him no. And he missed it. Davis, another rebound. Foul and one. Earlier in his career, he had a lot of seasons like that. 80% or higher. Misses that one. Knicks have one timeout remaining. Same as the Lakers. Both teams in the penalty. Misses a I've been meaning to make a video like this for the longest. It's been a long awaited time because this season has not been the best for this team right here. This Lakers team, right? I had to throw on my Laker gear and like, you know what? After what I just saw, I have to make a video. So basically, yesterday we played the Knicks Saturday night game. I knew LeBron was playing, by the way, y'all. I knew he was playing, right? <clears throat> I watched the game all the way up until the end of the third quarter and then I fell asleep. I literally closed my eyes and then I was out. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, before I get into this Lakers stuff, I know y'all be asking a lot of questions, wondering a lot. I'm literally about to shock a lot of y'all. Like, I got a lot of crazy videos coming up. Obviously, I got my music and all that. But this is about my Lakers. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I fell asleep. I woke up today, and <clears throat> first thing I did was I knew we won and all that. But what I want to watch is, like, why is everybody talking about Russ? You know, I heard he got benched and all this. The second time he got benched, I'm glad. Good job, Vogels, for saving your job. Uh... But that's not what I was concerned about. I was concerned about this nigga's play. I watch, I watch every game this season, y'all. I have Amazon Prime, and I catch the games on live television if I get the chance to, right? I was able to catch this game all the way up until the end of the third quarter, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't watch the fourth quarter. I seen the highlights and all that. But he was basically benched the whole fourth quarter in all of overtime, so it really didn't matter. I seen what I had to see, and I'm going to tell y'all what the problem is. I think the problem is West Whisper. Now, everyone knows I was a big fan of this trade. I was super, super excited. I was like, oh, my gosh, like we got Russell Westbrook, LeBron, Anthony Davis. They're going to be healthy. We good, right? I was heavily mistaken. Little did I know, people like Shannon Sharp, the people I watch every day was like, this is not a good trade. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good fit. You know what I'm saying? He's a great player. It's just not a good fit. Now, in basketball, you know, chemistry, all that shit means a lot. It's just not about having all-stars on the team. Look at the Nets for a perfect example. We know they're battling with injuries and all that, but they have never really played with each other. And I was the first one. I posted on my snap. I said, this is a very overrated or underrated comment, but the Nets are overrated. And I said that last year, a year ago. And a year later, that that statement is still very relevant because they haven't played together. We don't know how great they are all together because they haven't really played together. So, same thing with um, AD and LeBron. We know how they are, but we haven't seen Russ. But the games that... <coughs> I give it to Russ, bro. He's very durable. He played every game this season, but I kind of wish a lot of those games he did not play. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Basically, 
I seen it in preseason. I we we had like eight games in preseason or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was turning the ball over like nine, ten times a game, even in the preseason. Everybody's like, it's just preseason. It's all right. We'll get our chemistry together. Woo. But in the first couple games of pre regular season, Russ was playing the same way. That first game, I went and watched the back the game for the Warriors, our first game of the season. Because I'm like, we're playing so bad right now. I said, what went wrong? So I started watching the earlier games. That Warriors game, we looked good. But there was one person who looked out of place. And guess who it was? It was Wessel Westbrook. Now, what the problem is, there's a lot of things that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Everyone could talk about injuries, the COVID protocol earlier this season. Well, I'm going to tell you, this video is strictly about Westbrook because what I seen last night, this, I, I was like, bro, throw on your hat and throw on your hoodie because this is serious, bro. This nigga is nervous. Now, I'm going to tell you why he's nervous, bro. Russell Westbrook is just like a lot of NBA players. They don't really want to play for the Lakers. And here's why. When you play for the Lakers, you're not playing for the Rockets, OKC, none of that. You are playing for a franchise who's known for championships. We have the second most won championships in NBA history right next to the Celtics. We just won a championship two years ago. We have a lot of expectations. Our fans are very loyal and passionate. So if you play one bad game, you on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, for a whole week, you know what I'm saying, getting slandered. Last night, I just watched the highlights. They were booing Wessel Westbrook. <coughs> let me let me repeat that. The Los Angeles Lakers fans were booing a player on their team. How bad is that? This nigga ain't on the road, bro. He is literally a home player getting booed by his team, his fans. We were up six, and Russell Westbrook was about to shoot a three, and the fans were literally yelling, no, do not shoot. He was at the free throw line. He missed free throws. Now, everybody on this team misses free throws. I tweeted it. I said, Lakers, y'all need to make your free throws. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all this right now. As of right now, Russell Westbrook is not a good fit, and he's nervous because he's playing for his hometown team, and there's a lot of expectations. Y'all seen what Magic Johnson tweeted out when the Lakers lost by 37 points. Now, that was very sad, by the way. Um, We're a big franchise. This is how I know, right? Now, I paid close attention to other teams and stuff, right? So when the Bucks lost by 37 points, yeah, y'all probably didn't even know that. The Bucks literally lost by 37 points a couple of days ago or a week ago, and nobody talked about it. No news picked up on it. Undisputed didn't talk about it. First, they didn't talk about it. But the Lakers lose by 37. Magic Johnson comes out. I come out. Everybody's going to have something to say about it. So with that being said, Russell Westbrook knows that. A lot of NBA stars know that. Now, I'm not trying to get off topic, but Paul George came, was supposed to come to the Lakers a couple years ago. This is why I hated Paul George a couple years ago, but, we you know, we made amends. It's cool now, right? Paul George was supposed to come to the Lakers a couple years ago when LeBron came, right? He didn't come. He made, basically told his agent and everybody, I'm coming to the Lakers, and then didn't come. You want to know why he didn't come? It's the same reason why Russell Westbrook probably should have not came. You know what I'm saying? I know Westbrook got traded. But this is the same reason why a lot of people don't like playing for the Lakers. They like playing for the Lakers for the sponsorships. Yeah, they get known. If they ball out like Malik Monk is getting paid this summer. He's smart. You know what I'm saying? He's getting paid. This is why he signed that paper. He said, it doesn't matter if I'm playing alongside LeBron or AD if I'm getting enough minutes. Bro, I'm about to get paid because I'm on TV every day. I'm getting all the sponsorship, all that. Bro, superstars are not dumb. But they also know there are two different types of NBA players in this league. People who want to win a championship and don't care about that. And people who do care about all that. The people who care about all that, y'all see on the Lakers for one or two years and then they're gone. The people who don't care about all that, it's like Kobe. They there for 18, 20 years. They there forever. Now, if you look at our roster, we don't basically have nobody who used to be there. Kuzma was the last person. Like, he got traded, bro. And we all shit on Kuzma and all that. But he balled out this year, you know what I'm saying? Wanna know why? Because he's not playing for the Lakers. There's no pressure. So, if that being said, if Russell Westbrook was not playing for the Lakers this season... First of all, it wouldn't even be talked about. If he was averaging 10 turnovers on the Wizards, nobody would talk about it, for one. And two, he probably wouldn't be playing as bad. You know what I'm saying? Russell Westbrook, he's not a horrible player. He's just, right now, he's playing on a team where there's so much expectations, bro. It's his hometown. I still, I'm watching some of the plays last night, and he's, like, like coughing up the ball in midair. Like, he's just, and his turnovers are just, I've said it here, I've, Posted about it, tweeted about it, posted on Snap or whatever. I said, Vogel should not call out his play. He called out Russell Westbrook. And, and he, I think he did it again. I didn't watch the interviews and that. But he's basically like, you know what I'm saying? We put the players out there who are trying to win, you know what I'm saying? Or who are going to put us in a position to win. Basically saying, Russell Westbrook is not trying to win for us. And I'm going to be honest, bro. That's what it looks like sometimes. Like, y'all make jokes and shit and be like, he's playing for the other team and all that. Bro, if you play that bad, especially at home, and 
Oh, bro, our fans are probably the best fans in the league, bro. We're so passionate. Bro, you cannot be doing that. We we are so used to this guy right here. And this is why a lot of people don't like LeBron. You know, people still tell me this day, I don't like LeBron. The market is like, yeah, LeBron is good and all that, but Kobe. Y'all, when LeBron, I have a video. It's on my old channel, right? When LeBron first came to the Lakers on July 1st, 2018, I was the first person who close on I said, I hated LeBron all my life. You know what I'm saying? I was a hater because I was for Kobe. But you know what? This nigga came to our team. He made us relevant. I like LeBron now. I started liking LeBron. I actually liked him that last Cavalier season because he carried that fucking team. But that's another topic for another day. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I just want to tell y'all how I feel and all that. You know, we did win. Y'all probably thinking, oh, we just lost. No, dude. It's, the fucking Nets are on the seven-game losing streak. We're not. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? As long as LeBron's healthy and we got AD, I think we're not only making the playoffs, but we're making a deep run into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? But with Westbrook on our team... I can see him coughing up the ball in the last seconds, and you cannot bench your star player. He's basically like Ben Simmons. You can't play him at the end of the game. That's that's bad for a team and a franchise, you know what I'm saying? You got to trade him, you know what I'm saying? So if the Lakers don't trade Russell Westbrook, they got to do something because this isn't going to work. You can't keep benching your star player, and then he has to go to a postgame conference. All right, guys, uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, why did you get benched? He got to answer that basically every fucking game, and that's bad. So Rob Palenka. Somebody got to do something. Vogel's doing his job. Good job. You benched him, but you're going to have to answer those questions every single game. That's going to get frustrating for the whole team. So, Rob Palenka, you got to do something, bro. You got to do something, bro. Buy that nigga out. Trade him. You got to do something, bro. You can't keep letting this happen. You see how Ben Simmons is not playing because of all the other stuff? I know a whole bunch of other stuff. We all know about all that. Boom. That's my solution. I think you should just trade Russell Westbrook or find some better solution. But this isn't working. You know what I'm saying? This nigga went like one for something last game and played horrible. Like he, This is probably his worst game he played for the Lakers. It was that bad. <coughs> so, I'm a dire Lakers fan. That's honestly my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel. I know a lot of people, a lot of y'all text me and tell me all that. That's how I feel about this team right now. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Uh, let me know if you want more Laker talks or anything like that. I, uh, if you're not a Laker fan or if you didn't come for this, just click off for now. But, uh, yeah, I do have my deluxe dropping. I do have a hit single. Yes, hit single, Time Heals. That's dropping that same day. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fire. And, uh, yeah, I'm also going to be working on Machiavelli Mysteries. So, uh, shh, keep down the downloads to me and you. But, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for all that. And, you know, yeah, Machiavelli, yeah, I'm out. Hopefully Lakers fix this shit. Or I will. Michael Fellow, we trust three.